Every day there is a shocking new allegation in the sexual harassment scandal surrounding Fox News and Roger Ailes. Ailes was the king of Fox News, the founding CEO and chairman. He's gone now. He resigned amid this series of allegations against him. But there are continuing questions about who else knew what and what the Murdochs might do next. Just when you think the scandal can't get worse, there's a new story, a new bombshell. Allegations that Ailes manipulated female employees. Claims that he hired private investigators and consultants to keep tabs on his opponents, basically running a dirty tricks operation out of Fox News. And that he used Fox's money, Fox's bank account, for his own personal uses. Ailes is used to being on offense, first as a political strategist for Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan, and then as a television producer. But right now, he's on defense, denying these allegations, but otherwise staying completely silent. And what makes this so stunning is that it started with a single woman, Gretchen Carlson, a former anchor at Fox News, who said she was fired in June because she refused Ailes' sexual advances. Ailes said she was fired because her ratings were relatively low. But that single lawsuit was essentially the first domino to fall. And now a line of them continue to fall, with more women coming forward, also alleging harassment by Ailes. What we don't know is how many women have come forward privately, speaking to the law firm that's investigating these allegations. We do know one current employee at Fox News, Andrea Tanteros, says she was harassed by Ailes. She was a host on the noon show Outnumbered until April. That's when she was sidelined for mysterious reasons. It seemed like a contract dispute, but now her lawyer says she too was harassed by Ailes and she rebuffed his advances. This story is about so much more than just Roger Ailes. It's about the workplace culture at Fox News and at other companies as well. It's about whether women feel empowered to come forward when they say they've been harassed by a powerful boss. And it is also about the prospect of a cover-up. Did the Murdochs, who ultimately own Fox News, know anything about these allegations? And what about the people below Ailes, his deputies? What did they know about what might have been going on? This story is far from over. The consequences will be felt for years. Because this is ultimately about justice for the women who have come forward saying they were victims of harassment. Also at stake is the future of Fox News. Ailes was the only man in charge for 20 years. Ailes was Fox News. Fox News was Ailes. And no one quite knows what the channel will be without him.